So hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're looking at my ugly mug. I know I look terrible. I look awful. Uh, you know, I was going to stream over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and I know I didn't. I haven't felt good. Miss Bits hasn't felt good. Um, you know, I've been having problems with the feet, and uh, I'm trying to turn things around. Her and I just we're starting uh, a new thing where we're trying to lose weight and get healthier before the feet thing gets worse. Don't worry, guys. I'm not dying. I'm not dying. I'm not going to say I'm dying, and don't feel sorry for me. Um, this is what I get for not taking care of myself. And, you know, this is the point of the video where the fat guy tells you, hey, take care of yourself before this happens. Um, so that's that's me. Just That's my cold open, I guess. It's my cold open. I You know, I want you guys to obviously have healthy lives. Um, and I'm going to try to get back to being a healthy person. Uh, get back to those healthy uh, exercises and uh, those things that I was trying to do to be healthy. Uh, obviously, we have Thanksgiving coming up, uh, and we made some great strides here. Let me, let me go ahead and tell you, Miss Miss Bits. I'll tell you how awesome Miss Bits is. You know, she went through and she looked at, hey, I you love this food. You love this certain kind of food. It's terrible for you. They have keto and sugar free versions of these things. Which is awesome because I, you know, obviously I, you know, I'm a big guy. My, 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 I love sweets. I love Thanksgiving. I love food. Uh, but she found, uh, things that are keto and sugar free options. And, you know, she went out and we went grocery shopping and we got all kinds of stuff, um, to kind of fit with that. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to go, probably go back into keto, uh, do the keto thing, uh, get back to the gym and all that stuff. And I want to get healthy. I'm going to get healthy again. You guys are going to be along. That. And yes, yes. Before we say some, before something's said, obviously I will fail. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to fail this. I am. I am. It's. I always fail. But, but hear me out. I'm going to do my best to get back on the saddle and get. I. You know, if I fall off, I need to get back on. I can't take. I can't afford to lose my feet. Okay. I can't. I, I can't do that. Uh, you know, I'd like to live another 50 years. I'd love to see this channel take off. I'd love to hang out with you guys personally. Um, you know, I'd like to get to the point where, you know, I could go out of the country and do things that I'd love to do, like go to Japan. Or uh, There's a lot of things I want to, want to experience, which that kind of leads me to why I'm making this video. So I made a video, uh, and I've, I've put a few things out, and there's some people who kind of got a mixed reaction, and it was kind of surprising that I kind of took the stance that I did, considering the fact of my history of uh, this, with this certain YouTuber. Now, I talked about him a lot, uh, Boogie298A. If you go back to my early days, you know, his, uh, his uh, videos uh, are what got me started on the internet, and... And I, like I said, I am going to be posting a video, and good lord, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You're going to have to see this, and it's going to be terrible, and it's going to be embarrassing, but, you know, you're going to see something from 15 years ago that I discovered that I knew it was on the internet. I knew it was there, but I forgot where, I, <laughs> where it was, and I started to make my first content on YouTube 15 years ago. And I can't wait to show you guys this because it's going to be kind of funny and cringy at the same time. You'll get to see a much smaller... Uh, whoo! <laughs> You'll get the uh, cringy version of me, which I'm cringy all together anyways. Can't help it. Just one of these things I love. But anyways, um, you know, I made a video about Boogie uh, revealing that he has cancer. Now, cancer is not fun. Uh, obviously, it's not. Um, you know, I have somebody in my family right now that has cancer that's not good. Not all cancer is good. Uh, not all cancer, well, I guess all cancer is bad. We, nobody wants cancer. No, I, I don't think anybody except for Randy Marsh on South Park is um, wanting cancer. Um, and if you is, if you do want cancer, maybe you should go get checked out. I'm just saying that could be a mental health thing altogether. You know how I feel about mental health stuff. And here I am playing with pill bottles, which I'm going to show you guys something here in a minute. So 
Boogie came out with his reveal. He has polycythemia vera, or PV, which is a rare chronic blood cancer where the bone marrow produces too many blood, blood cells. Now, from what I've gathered, and I am talking to another user who actually reached out to me, and I'm not going to give the name because I don't know if they want me to, um, and this person has had uh, this disease for 20 years. And I guess it's debatable if it is a cancer or not. Uh, uh, it can lead to uh, some bad stuff like leukemia. So that's what I could tell. But it's not cancer as you and I, uh, when we think of cancer, it's not that kind of cancer. And usually, and I, I don't know if this is true, this is just me assuming. Well, except for what he told me. So this can happen to a few cases, probably more than that, but uh, sleep apnea people uh, and people use testosterone. Now, I have sleep apnea. I've had it for years. I don't use a machine anymore. I just stop using it because it's uncomfortable and I wake up and my eyes are bloodshot and it looks like I've been doing tons of coke and you know, I just quit take, quit using it. It's probably bad. I, I don't even know where my CPAP is, to be honest with you. I don't even, I don't like it. And, you know, I was supposed to take testosterone years ago, but I never did. I never started taking testosterone. And apparently this disease is very easy to take care of. Uh, med medication, everything like that. It's still... A blood disorder. Uh, nobody really dies from it, apparently. And most people, they would adjust their med medications and just treat it that way. Now, I don't know how true that is. I'm not a doctor. Uh, and I'm not saying that the person who gave me that information is a doctor. Uh, but comparing it to the websites and Karen Penner, what they're saying, um, I guess the term cancer is very debatable lightly and, and you know if you have this disease if you have that disease and again it's called pila pi pi lysithemia pilosithemia <laughs> god uh vera or pv I, I would like to know i i would like to know um it like i said i am reading it right here like i said uh too many bl red blood cells can cause blood to thicken Thicker blood doesn't flow normally through the arteries and veins. Increased blood thickness and decreased blood flow as well as abnormalities in the palates and white blood cells may increase your risk of blood clots. Uh, blood clots can cause things like stroke, heart attack, blockage of an artery in your lungs, or vein deep with muscle and cause problems with your arms and legs. Um, and I'm assuming that this is, this is a disease that affects unhealthy people. Whenever I think sleep apnea uh, and stuff like that, testosterone, um, you know, I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I think this. Um, you know, I take 20-some pills a day. My my fault. Now, prove it, just in case just in case you guys need receipts. So this is, this is my day meds. Uh, I take those in the morning. And there's probably maybe 12 in there. And here's the night meds night meds uh that's not counting the uh which i just added stuff for uh neuropathy uh i just bought some over-the-counter stuff to try to treat it and i got some stuff that was prescribed to me um and i'm trying to beat that i don't want neuropathy my feet hurt like hell it sucks i don't like it and this is kind of the way that wake up call but when i think about stuff like that, i think well obviously people that has this is usually unhealthy maybe bigger people sleep apnea which i don't know a lot about sleep apnea i know that i'm a bigger guy and i have sleep apnea and whenever i'm smaller my sleep apnea seems to go away so that's just me maybe projecting but it's not a severe cancer um and i kind of feel like boogie did make it seem i think he kind of played with um people's emotions a little bit and make it seem like it's worse than it actually is now there's people saying that he was saying and i kind of looked at his twitter and all that stuff saying that he's going to die from it uh that it's already severe now this is coming from a channel that is dying it's a dying it's a dead channel basically 
uh, somebody that's trying to hold on to relevance. And I, I understand that. Like, I, you know, I wish the best for Boogie. Don't get me wrong, Boogie. If you're looking at this video and you're thinking I'm trying to attack you, uh, I'm not. I'm not. But I think this is something you should follow. Um, you know, I was taking a look at his Reddit, which if you ever go on his subreddit, by God, you talk about, you talk about some vile shit. Um, now he did have, this was a fiasco a while back where he was talking about a girlfriend he had that died from cancer and he was on a, um, a round table discussion with some other streamers and he said, fuck her. She's the one that died from cancer. And he, you know, he had to backtrack. It's like, oh, we, we, that's how we joke together. Now, I don't know. I wouldn't want to joke with somebody like that. But then again, I'm not on my deathbed with cancer, and you know, I don't know how I would react. I would imagine uh, you want to be pretty peaceful. But some people like chaos. Some people, that's how you fight um, stuff like that. You fight it with laughter. Maybe that's the case. And uh, apparently, and you know, I tried to find some of the tweets, and I did see some things, um, and I'm not going to show them because um, I don't want to make it a whole lot worse than it actually is. Um, but he said basically he's going to die from this, and uh, I think this is a really controllable disease. Uh, apparently, he's not dying. Um, he's not. He's not dying, um, which is awesome. But you don't die. Take care of yourself. Get rid of cancer um and obviously the person that gave me this information about their stuff like i don't want them to die either and i don't think like i said uh, the other person has had this for 20 years um and like i said i'm not a doctor i don't know if they're a doctor i don't know if this information is verifiable and i just kind of want to put it out there just in case somebody else is like hey you know but it's always good to have other users other people kind of come and talk about it especially if have experience with it um and this isn't me just playing with the drama, it's just me being like, hey, uh, maybe, just maybe, Boogie. And I, I'll do this for you guys, too. If you guys want to know, if you guys ever want to know. And I know there's a lot of drama right now with uh, showing receipts for things. We see that with the Merv versus uh, Blue Bacon, the, the Elite Law stuff, um, with the Army stuff. And, you know, I, I honestly, if you guys ever want to see it... Uh, and I'll prove it. And I just shown you the medicine. That is my medicine. Uh, <laughs> it is my medicine. I can prove that. Uh, if you guys ever want to see it, I will definitely show you the medical records that I do have. Um, so just in case you ever be like, oh, well, Derek's a fraud. He's not really suicidal. and He's not. He doesn't have this. Uh, he doesn't have that. Uh, I can definitely prove those things. Just let me know. Just let me know. And I would gladly show you these. And, you know, if you... Like, if we have to, we'll make a video and I'll pull out the medical records. That way you guys can be, uh, I don't want to lie to you guys. I never do. Never do. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to have to tell the truth. Uh, if I have something I am strongly believing in, if I feel a certain way, I usually say it. Um, you know, sometimes sometimes it might seem over dramatic, and that may be the case. Uh, and, you know... A lot, of, a lot of stuff I like to do. I like to be honest. I like to entertain you guys and give you guys an outlet to be like, hey, you know, this guy's obviously not a fucking piece of shit. Like some people will say I am. And just like, you know, I, I talk about my detractors a lot. And they're not really detractors. Honestly, they're not. Um, you know, we have people on the other side of the road who have come to my side and said awful things about me. But at the end of the day, I can message. Let, let's talk about unknown. Let's talk about unknown for a second. So unknown. Uh, some people don't like him. Some people do. Me and the unknown didn't like each other. I don't. Well, I don't. I, I don't want to say it. He didn't know me. We, we, it was, we met on trolling basis, right? And I would like to say, hey, unknown's awesome. I like unknown. Does he agree with me? And do I agree with him? No. We don't have to. We don't have to agree with each other to get along. Um, we don't. But lying to people, that's that's another thing. And I, and playing with people's emotions, and I kind of feel like that's uh, the manipulation part that I think is coming from the boogie side of things. And I hate to say that. God, I hate to say that. I really do. 
But I see so much, I, and I, I try to defend the guy. And, you know, I, I've tried so much to just look past some of his stuff, and I know he's trying to rebuild his channel, and desperation calls for this, and, you know, he says he's going to lose his place, and he was uh, e-bagging, and um, doing a lot of things in the last few years that's not been good for him. Basically destroyed his channel. Um, which sucks because he's a, to me he was my uh, the guy I looked up to. I looked up to a hundred percent. But this 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 diagnosis um, is not as bad as he says it is. This is according to uh, the other user, uh, and like I said, I don't want to give that person's name, and this isn't me just pulling a random thing out of my ass and being right here uh if they wanted they want me to i can show them i don't want to give uh i don't want also don't want to give fa false stuff i mean i'm not saying they're false uh there's just a lot of stuff i don't know but the thing i do know is that it's not as bad as uh he's making it out to be it's not um i doubt he's gonna die from it um and yeah, there's the shock of getting, um, you know, just in case, you know, and, and like I said, and that, and that it does say that it is a type of cancer or could lead into bad cancer, um, but it's it's manageable, right? Um, it's manageable, and that's kind of what uh, I'm hoping. I'm I'm kind of hoping that he at least shows the receipts for this. I think this is going to help him in the long run. Um, I really do. I think this is going to help him in the long run, uh, make people believe him because a lot of people don't believe you right now, man. Um, and I, you know, part of me believes you, part of me doesn't. And it, it is what it is. And you can say that I'm just kind of grifting and trying to pick on you. And I'm not, dude, you, you can go back on my TikTok, you know, emails, Twitter, um, uh, Past videos, you know, I I love your stuff, man. You're you're one of my favorites. You always have been, probably always will be. Uh, but I think I think this would be the thing for you to do, and I'm sure that your audience uh, could be like, "Hey, Boogie, show these people the receipts, or show us the receipts." And I know you don't have to. I know you don't have to. But for the sake of you and your channel. And uh, the public outlook on you. Maybe you should do that. Maybe you should show it. Um, and people won't give you a hard time. Obviously you have people that hate your fucking guts. And you. You kind of. Relish in it. Like you. Uh, just You think that just because. every All these people hate you. That everybody hates you. Which is not the case. Not the case. You got a lot of people that love the shit out of you dude. Um, and like I said, if you ever wanted to come on my channel, and I know you won't, um, I know you won't ever give me that chance, but if you ever did, you're more than welcome to it. I'd love to have you on, love for you to talk about things, but, but just, just, just this once, uh, take some people's advice, um, show the receipts, um, and just let them know, hey, you're not dying, because you're not, you're not. Uh, now, like I said, I would understand if you was hooked up and you was on your deathbed, but you're not. Um, and it's sad for me to say I don't. I don't want to, you know, lessen the blow or. But it's it is what it is. It is what it is. I, and I'm sorry, guys. I rambled too long. Rambled too long. But anyways, like I said, guys, if you guys ever really want to know, ever want to know uh, any of my medical records, if you wanted to see that, if you wanted to see uh, all the surgeries I've had and all that stuff, I am totally open to show it, you guys really am i really am uh and it's just me trying to be transparent with you uh, obviously if you know you like me and you don't want to think i'm a bullshitter sometimes that's good to see the receipts and that's just all i'm saying here um it's but yeah that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying is show the receipts just prove it and walk and that's all you have to do that's all you have to do. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Sorry the way I look. I look like a hobo. Uh, 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, I love you guys very much. Uh, I hope I didn't piss anybody off. I, I, it's not my wasn't my intentions. And Boogie, I don't hate you, man. I really don't. I just I just want you to go back to normal, Boogie. Carry on and take care of yourself and just get this shit out and just show people. That's all I can say. That's all I can really say. Probably won't take my advice, but that is what it is. Well, I'll see you guys soon. Oh.